And on this slide, you know, there's people who will take offense and I, I tell them as always, get as offended as you want. If you don't think this is what the military is for, this, the, this isn't what you think. Any military people who may be listening or any people who know military people, if this isn't what you think you are the tool for, you're a tool, okay? And I mean that in the absolute street lingo sense of the word, a tool, okay, that is just being used by someone else to accomplish their agenda, their goal, their task, that they just don't want to get their hands soiled with. But they're okay with, with you getting dirty to do it and being an immoral order follower in order to do it, to go and pillage resources in, in other countries and, you know, strong arm the people there to get that done. That's all. You're just an attack dog. And that's what they're, they're all too happy to call you. They're dogs. It's what these people call you. It's what they call you. They're dogs. They're pets. They're animals. It's my, it's, it's, that's, my, that's my little dog that I keep in the house. And then I, I, I put him on a chain and I un unleash him when I want to attack somebody. Yeah. And they give you dog tags and you're too stupid to see the connection. You're too retarded to see the connection. I mean, really, it's like, it's like a, it's like a two-year-old. It's what these people are. They're like two-year-olds whose mommy and daddy never paid attention to them. So let me go and join up. Here's my new surrogate family called the, the military cult, you know. I'm going to go join up and go rape the earth, you know, and, and, and then strong arm a bunch of people I never met too while I'm at it. Yeah, that's going to make me feel like a real man. Whatever. It's a bunch of clowns is what it is. A bunch of clowns these people are retarded children who never grew up and don't want to grow up you know letting people who hate them and call them they call you their animals people I, do i need to say any more than that they call you dumb stupid animals i'm not telling you that from book knowledge or from reading a quote i'm telling you that from their lips to my ears okay in the room with them, calling you their pets. It's unbelievable. And these people still can't see it. They decorate you with the regalia of an animal, giving you a dog tag, and you wear it as a symbol of pride. Absolute utter fools. Utter fools. And, you know, what we're doing to the earth is, is just that that's the icing on the cake. I mean, and all the other species of animals that live here. You know, responsible for the extinction of more other life forms than, you know, than any other species has ever accomplished. Because this whole paradigm of the oil monopolies, of the oil cartels, of this unsustainable paradigm is about taking whatever we want. We're the takers. That's the R complex, the reptile mode. I'm going to take and hoard, you know. And, and then put myself in a position where nobody can ever break that monopoly. And they can't even see they're a drug addict. They're a drug addict. They're imperialists. The people who are helping them do this are imperialists, creating these false flag events for more justification because the people are tired of these wars. They need to create these justifications to go into these other regions and continue to wage their blood sacrifices called wars. It's a, it's a self-imposed noose around the neck, all by a bunch of mental midgets who are trapped in the R complex of the brain and addicted to adrenaline, you know, and think it has to be this way because they have no imagination. And I'll be damned if I'm going to be ruled by people like that, not without a fight, not without consequence. There will be consequence. Trust it. Know it. Know it like you know your name. Not going to go quietly into the night. Not this one. Not this one. And I know there's a lot of people who join me in that sentiment. A lot. A whole lot. And the time's coming. Because we're not, we're, we're not doing the great work in enough absolute force 
We don't have the force of numbers that we need to accomplish the work. To do this in mind, which is why I keep trying to impress upon people the imperative of the time that we are at. You need to speak this to these people. I, I was saying the other night when I w went on Popeye's show on, on uh, uh, Truth Frequency the other uh, last night, on uh, Down the Rabbit Hole, I want to start a campaign that is about reaching the military and the police. Because ultimately, if we don't reach these people, there's going to be a, a, a absolute bloodbath on the earth. That's what's coming. Okay? We have to reach their mindset to change it. That's what the great work is, folks. If you haven't figured that out yet, you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention if, that's, if you don't understand that. So I want to do something called... Um, uh, cut off the causers. Maybe somebody can come up with an even better name, but you know, just just kicking it around, kicking around the idea, and discussing it with some people. We need to set and and people think of this is 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 what I'm about to say the equivalent of guilting someone. Yes, there's a reason that guilt exists. There is a reason that the emotion of guilt exists. It is to be felt, just like anger. There's a reason for it to exist, and it is to be felt. When something is going wrong, that is, un that is something that is unjust, iniquities are taking place around us, inequities are taking place around us, injustice is taking place all around us. That's what anger is there for to be felt in the physiology, so that you will get up off your rear end and get motivated to do something to change that condition. Well, guilt is there for a reason too. It's to make people understand that what they're doing is immoral. And believe me, I felt my fair, more than my fair share of it in my life. And that emotion helped me to come out of the dark satanic mindset that I was once in. That these police and military are still in. So we, I want to set some, a couple of dates. Like one date we start. You know, and we, it's a campaign. We're going to relentlessly hammer on the minds of military and police personnel with information. Their families have to do it. Their friends have to do it. Anybody you know that is connected with these institutions, anybody you know that's in banking, government, finance, military, police, etc. Any control. Go, just finished going over this uh, idea for sort of a. Uh, a uh, concentrated campaign of sorts uh, to start hammering the truth of natural law into people and get them to understand that what they're doing is wrong and needs to stop. You know, this is what people don't want to hear. They don't want to hear. They want to hear, oh, tell me what I should be doing. No, I'm going to tell you what you should stop doing. That's the solution. The solution lies in the negative pathway. This is what the New Age nonsense troglodytes, you know, don't want you to understand. You know, all the people who have bought the new New Age Kool-Aid. You know, they want, they want you to think, oh, it's all about t building something new. No, it's called stop doing what you're doing that's immoral. And then the world will change. It won't be enslaved anymore. No one wants to hear that, though. They want to hear some crazy, over-the-top, complicated solution involving, you know, doing all kinds of new things. Well, you know what? That's not the way that the world's going to change. We don't need anything new. We need to stop doing what we're currently doing that we have no right to continue to do. That's the solution. There's the solution, ladies and gentlemen. And no one wants to hear that. Want to know why? It firmly places the responsibility on their shoulders. You're the one who's causing it. By your behavior. And they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear it. Now, because it's always somebody